Right then, it is the morning after my uh, quite voracious, that's the wrong word. It's the morning after my test drive and this is the full disclosure video on what happened next. Basically I was filming and I don't know if you noticed in the film, but there was a puddle of coolant starting to form underneath the car. I do go on about British big cats quite a lot and uh, it's about time we had a proper V8 and a big, a big luxury Grand Tourer on the channel. So I cut the video short so I could investigate and then I limped the car home. And what's happened is actually what is also a pretty common problem on these XKs and it looks to be like a relatively easy fix. So I've started cleaning it up. I'm gonna start a quick fix and then take it to a garage just to get it all checked over. So what has happened whilst I was driving it home yesterday, this is the top cooling hose that comes out of the engine. And you can see, if I focus the camera, there's a split in the hose here i'll go around the other side in a minute and what's happened is the hose has been bouncing on that bracket and that has basically acted like a blade and has been slowly cutting into the hose so yesterday thankfully only about two miles from my house it finally went through the hose and that's where the coolant started coming out there was a pinhole leak and then coolant was basically pissing out all the way over this side of the engine and then dropping down underneath it which was when i noticed the puddle I didn't have any lights on the dash or anything like that, so it obviously didn't do anything drastic enough to cause that problem. So, I'm going to try and repair this hose. I can't see the camera now, I'm in the, on the other side of the line, but hopefully you can see where that hose is um, split. If you look as well, it has been Jubilee clipped before. There's evidence, you know, of, um, of a Jubilee clip there. So someone has tried to fix this before. There you go, you can see it now. So there's the split. So I'm gonna try and repair that. I'm also gonna try and take this down a little bit with a, with a hacksaw, because it seems to me like that's just a stupid piece of design. It's too close to the cooling hose. So I'm gonna fix that. And there you go, that is the full disclosure on uh, what happened next when I got my Jag home. Um, I am quite in love with this car though. A few moments later. I've done my fix. A um, little bit of special sauce, a little bit of glue, a little bit of puncture repair kit. The masking tape is sort of holding everything together whilst it all dries. I'm going to leave that there for a bit. And I've also added um, a harmonic balancer. No, I've added a little bit of um, suspension on it by uh, basically attaching a sponge. I've taken a little bit off of this bit here, which you can see. So I have just um, used a hacksaw just to cut that bit off. And then I've taken a sponge and I've added a bit of suspension. So that hose can now bounce on that quite freely. And then um, all I need this to do really is, is get to the garage for a full check over and they'll tell me whether I've done a good job or not. So we'll leave that and let it all dry off. And um, hopefully my big cat will purr again without uh, sweating too much. If you get the analogy, coolant, sweat, see what I did there, big cat. Right, let's crack on then. I feel like that was a good fix. Uh, just as a point of disclosure, that a lot of the tools that I would have needed, like thick, strong black duct tape and um, many other useful things are in my Volvo F50, which is 25 miles away, parked at the train station from where I jumped on the train to go and collect this car. So I would have had some probably better materials with me, but I haven't because I haven't got that car here and it's all in the boot. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.